Greetings, everybody. So today we are going to talk about sea grapes. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you may recognize that name. That's because a while back, I stole some fruit from a bird that was also called sea grapes. Give me that fruit, bird. All right. However, there are sea grapes and there are sea grapes. Sea grapes without a space in the name is a species of fruit. Sea grapes with a space in the name is a species of algae. I know this channel is about fruit and this is technically not a fruit, it's an algae. However, people sometimes confuse it with fruit and it has grapes in its name. So I'm gonna do it anyway. These days, sea grapes are not so uncommon. You may find them on the menu at a Japanese restaurant, or even more likely, you may find them in a creepy YouTube video. Because uh, for whatever reason, sea grapes have become a very popular subject of interest for ASMR videos, mukbang videos, or like massive eating videos, and or whatever the hell this is supposed to be. <laughs> Horrifying. So, yeah, a uh, fun fact about sea grapes is that sea grapes are technically an algae, as I said. And because of that, algae is a single cell organism. So when you look at like a big mass of sea grapes, it is technically just one cell. And the reason for that is because... No. Two hundred and twenty-eight million views. I work so hard. Excuse me. <laughs> That's great. So yeah, if you are here because you're hoping that I eat sea grapes slowly and sensuously in front of the camera, um, that is not going to happen. Um, go do your thing somewhere else, okay? Uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's give it a try. Got a nice long one here. Knock it off. Stop. Stop it. It's fine. To be honest, sea grapes don't really taste like much of anything. They have a very mild flavor of maybe like green tea, a little mild seaweed taste, and a little bit of a salt water taste. And that's it. Sea grapes are more sold for a textural thing. You're meant to put them in a sauce and you get your flavor from there. Sea grapes are not sold fresh. These sea grapes that I have right here are not fresh. And when you get them from a Japanese restaurant, probably also not fresh. And when you watch a scantily clad woman eat them in slow motion close up to the camera, I just hit my funny bone, that is also not fresh, probably. 
These are often sold in a little shelf stable packet and inside that packet you will find sea grapes that have been deflated. You need to rehydrate them by dipping them in water and then they kind of like plump up. And even then, the sea grapes that you get from one of those packets is not collected in the wild. These are farmed in tanks. This is done to make sure everything is uniform. It just has like this kind of mild flavor going on. That's not what sea grapes taste like if you were to like go to, into the ocean and start eating them. But that's kind of what I wanted to do. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go on a field trip, everybody. I'm going to go to a market where these are for sale fresh plucked from the ocean. And in order to do that, we're going to Fiji. I'm serious. So this vendor here has sea grapes for sale. And look, I found a Stephen Murray. Yeah, hey, hey there. It's been a while. <laughs> Steven, why don't you give it a try first, so I can build up some confidence here. Yay! That good, huh? <laughs> Spat it out. <laughs> yeah, delicious. <laughs> so what, what does that taste like, besides horrible? Uh, <laughs> you don't like it. It's slimy salt water. Okay. Yes. It does look really cool. I mean, I love the way it looks. It looks like a mulberry, <laughs> like a green mulberry. Doesn't have, really have a smell. Take a bigger bite than that. Come on. You, you gotta take a bigger bite. <laughs> the initial pop of it is actually all right. You're just getting like a salt water taste that just like pops in your mouth like caviar. But then there's an aftertaste that's like a little fishy, seaweed fishy, which I don't care for that taste. But the, the salty bit is good. I say like, if you like fish, you'd probably really like this. If you want caviar, you'd probably really like this. Steven and I are both vegetarians. So we're probably not a really good indicator of what this tastes like, but objectively, I can see the use for this. Even though I don't really care so much for the flavor of this, it is really cool. Looks like a green mulberry. It's not really a fruit. It's uh, pops in your mouth like caviar. It's a really nifty one, but maybe not if you don't like fish. <laughs> All right, see you next time. I would like to give a very big shout out to Smarter Every Day and JMac. They are mega patrons over on my Patreon page, which I've linked in the description below. If you are not familiar with Patreon, this is a way that you can support creators like me and get some really cool bonuses in return, like exclusive content, early access. There's even one where I will send you cool stuff in the mail. You gotta check it out, and that is linked below. If you don't wanna go on Patreon, another way you can support the channel is by getting a t-shirt, like the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the Durian Anatomy shirt, which is available in the description below. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.